Now, it's been reported several times that South African learners' performance in mathematics is very low. Numerous studies have proven this. The trend in mathematics studies and science reveals that some low-income countries outperform South Africa, even though South Africa is a middle-income country. Uh, these are some of the reasons why the Department of Education in the Free State has planned to build 200 mathematics laboratories. Now, these labs, which are the first of its kind in South African public schools, will change the traditional way of teaching and learning. The project is led by the NIIT. This is a new Delhi based company the uh, learn more about these maths labs or to, to learn more about these maths labs we are joined by the head of NIIT in South Africa uh, and this is uh, Rakesh Misri and also from uh, uh, EduSimat communications minister manager Kholiswe Koba good to have you both thank, thank you so very much for having us. Um, morning Mike tell us a little bit more about these labs let's talk from the free state perspective yeah. How are they going to work? What was it that attracted you to them? Basically what we're trying to do with, maths, uh, ma ma with, with the math lab is we're trying to change the mentality of math lab. Everybody's seen math as a taboo, as, an ex as a very difficult subject. So what we're trying to do is that from foundation phase, we're trying to say from grade R, the kids must learn the fundamentals of maths. They must see maths, they must interact with their peers and learn to do just, just learn the basics of maths through mathematics. So it's a classroom that has been ambianced. In order, when a child walks into the classroom, they see maths and they interact with maths. So it's basically changing the mentality that they have as a whole with yeah. regards to mathematics. How do you interact with maths? I mean, you talk to us about this program. How does the whole thing work? The mathematics, if you ask me, uh, is not only about the, the data and figures and all that stuff. Uh, mathematics is about structures, it's about space, it's about change. Now, what we have done in mathematics is uh, we made mathematics as a joy of learning. So we say math is fun. I think that's the topic what we, what we live with. And what we are doing is uh, we are not only creating, we are not creating IT enablers for learner to go through mathematics, we are creating a complete ambience, the complete theme of mathematics. For example, if you go to a classroom, uh, your, your carpet would talk about mathematics. Your tables would talk about uh, structures and, you know, uh, shapes and so on and so forth. So that's how basically we do. So yeah. in a math lab, typically, uh, it has uh, the manipulatives, which is the physical. You, you can actually physically feel mathematics. Yeah. You've got a software which interacts with you. Then you've got uh, the, what you call, all the kind of sketches and all that stuff which you normally use. Uh, to do a kind of a, a calculation at any given point of time. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. We're making mm. math as a fun. So you, you walk through the store and you experience math Absolutely. from the front door until you sit down, until you, you, yeah. you carry on in this lab. Now, you talk, we're talking about 50, 50 of these labs. That have currently been rolled out. They've currently been rolled out yeah, into schools looking at in the free state. looking at by the end of it. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, this has been done around the world. I mean, the, this yeah. exists in other countries. Yeah. And IIT uh, so far has been doing it from last 30 years. We're in 30 year of uh, business. Uh, we operate in 40 countries. We have touched 10 billion students so far. Yeah. Only in mathematics and science. So that's the kind of a power, you know, this math labs have yeah. in terms of changing the landscape. And what we're talking about, we're talking about future scientists. We're talking about future mathematicians. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what South Africa needs. Now, 50 have been rolled out. What's the response been? Uh, when did this actually start? We're launching the product uh, on the 27th of January, which All is right. on Friday, yeah. in the Free State, in, the, in a school called Tehase Chaba. And that's where the product, that's, that's where the classroom will be actually opened, the first ever classroom to be experienced in okay. South Africa. So it'll happen, we, the program starts at 10 o'clock in Tehase Chaba in Sasselberg, where we're expecting uh, delegates from the Department of Free State. Uh, the MEC will be joining us there. We've got private companies that are coming there. And uh, through this launch, we're inviting all the provinces, all the HODs of the, 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 the MECs and the HODs of other provinces to come and experience the maths lab and obviously implement it in their, in their, in their, in their provinces as yeah. well. So, so it, in theory, it's the way maths is being taught that that's the problem, that you're not experiencing maths. You're sitting with a textbook in front of you and you just see a whole bunch of numbers and that is what the confusing thing is. But if you live it, yeah. you'll understand it. Is that the concept Absolutely. behind Absolutely. And as one of the scientists, you know, he had said it long back, I know, we all know about him, Carl Frederick Goss. And you would have learned about natural numbers way back in school <laughs> days. Uh, he calls mathematics as a queen of sciences. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mathematics is not only about what you do and what you learn from the textbook. It's about how you feel. You, you pick up a manipulator in your hand and create an octagon, for instance, by your own hand. And then deform the shapes from that octagon you went on you go from you go to a hexagon or you make a triangle out of it you can actually make the whole stuff in, in by hands 
And can actually have little... fun with maths. Uh, you can something have I never had at school. <laughs> yeah. Maths scared me. It still scares me. But listen, I think something like this is fantastic. Yeah. Dying to see the results coming out of the Free State after yeah. this. Uh, so Friday, we'll see the big launch. Yeah. And hopefully more provinces in South Africa will move in this direction. Thank you for joining us. Good luck with the rollout. Talking about math laboratories that are going to be set up. 200 mathematics laboratories within the Free State. Currently, 50 have been set up. So let's see how that goes. Kulisa Koba, Communications Manager from EduCimat and Rakesh Misery, the head of NIIT South Africa. Thank you, sir. Let's take a break. We'll be with you after this. Stay tuned. No, we're not taking a break. We're going to lead you into a break with this insert. Now, the race to the South Pole, also known as the cold sweat, still raging on. And the winners of the race, the Norwegian team, are delighted to be the first team to reach the South Pole. But not all teams have reached the finish line. Let's take a look.